Welcome everybody to our regular Bright ID AMA. It's Thursday, October 13th. Um, yeah, I think today the so we just got out of a call with, um, it was a Twitter space talking about a hackathon that's going on for Gitcoin. Um, they're moving more to open, open uh, opening their whole protocol, their whole way of creating Gitcoin rounds. And so along with that, they're opening up their um, civil um, detection and civil defenses um, in a way that the creators of these decentralized rounds can um, create their own ways and uh, to defend against civils. And of course, one of the things that they want to provide is, is Gitcoin Passport, but they also want to provide an open data framework for analyzing and detecting civils based on behaviors that people do when they're using Gitcoin. So um, if you are a, a big data researcher, definitely get in on this hackathon. You can find more info in our Discord and the hackathon channel. And uh, I really hope a lot of good comes out of this. I love it when people are doing research to find civils because this is like, like I said in the call, this is the reason why we can't have more nice things. <laughs> So we got to stop these civils. So that's that's struck, our mission at Red ID. So I was struck today by something I've been struck by before, and the and it's the the difference between uh, one person, one account, and collusion activities. So, right. Imagine we really do have ten thousand unique individuals, but they're all they're all just doing the bidding of one of one dictator who's who's in who's in charge who's the who's the boss of that that activity from a gitcoin grants round perspective i would want to say that that is inappropriate because it's sort of like circum it's circumventing the intention of the grant round from a technical standpoint those are not civils they're colluding with each other, but they're not. They're not. They're not civils. They, they like not that. Thing. If you went and counted, that's ten thousand people. You have them dip their thumb, dip their thumb in the ink. It's ten thousand people. Um, and I feel like those two concepts get conflated, but particularly, and I particularly hear it within the context of Gitcoin, right? Um, and, and I think that's a that's a, a thing that needs care needs to go into that, um, right? Bright ID does not solve that collusion problem. Not yet. Um, so one of the things that I think that will come out of Aura is that let's say there's a region of the Aura graph, and this is you know, this is something Bright ID cannot do by itself. You're right. So let's start there. Like Bright ID by itself, just as the protocol that it is, does not solve that. But what you can do with uh, with a special verification built on top of Bright ID, so let's say Aura verification, is you can just uh, you can have it known, and you know not every or a energy type has to support this, but but it, it I, I'm guessing that'll probably be the norm that you say, okay, if there's a region in the graph where there's coercion happening, so we're talking about that dictator, coercion, collusion, whatever it is, um, where it's like, okay, this is like an unsafe place to live in the world. And bright ID users here are like their bright IDs are effectively being stolen from them and used by by this oppressive government, um, and so until until this political problem is fixed, we can't we can't really trust bright IDs coming out of this region. That is definitely something that you can um, have an opinion about and label in the aura graph. And uh, so I think that is very valuable to stop attacks like that. We always knew that bright ID was. We always wondered like, okay, well, how can we really bring it to every person on earth? And we always knew that there were going to be, um, I guess you, I don't know what to call them, political challenges, uh, whatever, um, that that make it impossible to use bright IDs at certain times in certain places. And it also say so. You know, there's the there's the really dark version where the dictator is stealing it from everyone. You know, making them do it. There's the less scary but still problem. They're all selling, right? There's there's a, a, a thousand desperately desperately poor poor people in, in, a, in a city in Venezuela and someone comes in and says hey y'all do this 
and give me access and I'll pay you to do it. All the people are really glad that they did it. They're glad they got a bread ID, like they get, they get paid, but, but like they're, they're perfectly happy to, they're, they're willing to sell their, sell their rights, which gets it like, like that's a really tricky, tricky thing. That, that said, right, something like Aura could also with a different kind of energy flavor, label regions that like label people that are not that way. Hey, you or a player, do you think that this account uses it in quadratically approved way? Like, like the, like, like imagine a, a quadratic energy, um, sorry, not distributed quadratically, but just like, should, should this account participate in quadratic grants? Of all, like, like, right, like imagine that you, you could do that stamp and then anything in the Gitcoin grant protocol could look for that, that approval of like, yes or yes or no, or like, or hey, we, this is not a good account or a good region to, to accept for, for this. Yes, they're human, but. Right, yeah, and I think, I think the way that we can do that with Bright ID is using the aura ver verification system, using um, different energy flavors, although it may be, it may be that we find out that no app accepts that like if an if an it's it's hard for me to think of an app where that's okay where the behavior that we've just described is okay where like it's okay that yeah this there's a thousand humans here but they all march exactly like in step with each other because they have this one leader or whatever that's basically controlling everything or someone goes into a village and signs up a thousand people and then they never see their bright ID account. Again, it's just like in the hands of this person who does all the decisions themselves. Um, situations like that, or someone that's maybe taking money is like, oh yeah, um, I'm going to sign you up for this UBI, but um, and and you know he tells everybody, hey, you're going to get ten dollars a month. When really they're getting a hundred dollars a month, and he's pocketing ninety dollars for each person. Things like that. Like it's hard to imagine that be that that apps would be okay with that behavior but if for some reason they were and there's some app that that i can't think of right now where that is okay um yeah he, he, here's what i see um i see it as the, the the standard hurdle problem that our ability to accurately label that graph will take a while and it'll be even slower than labeling people because it's a more complicated question um so um, what I was going to say is with with the energy flavor that I mean, I may be participating in multiple energy flavors in aura, but um, it, it I, I at least want there to be one where we are actively looking and and labeling and trying to stop any sort of coercive behavior, any sort of like um, um, like middleman behavior that we've described, any sort of collusive behavior, if that's a word. Um, I think I think that we're going to do a worse job and a slower job labeling labeling that. It's just it's so much more of a nuanced thing. Like mm -hmm. if I labeling like is this the person's only account in bright ID like in bright ID like like that's like this it's this nice like defined clear clear thing. When it gets into generally coercive behavior or like. Or like where do you where do you draw the line? You know, we always talk about yeah. the example of hey, I care about app B, you care about app A, and we and, and just we just trade off. Like that that level of scale, good luck labeling that. Exactly. Like, you, so that's you just, a you just can't. Like Victor's almost always good about this stuff, but around the edges, you know, every once in a while he, you know, does a little shenanigans. Yeah. Yeah, it's like we rent out our bright idea. So it's like, okay, there's the extreme because because you're right about the different level. But I think at least attacking the most extreme examples is where you want to start. But so so if someone's completely controlling your bright idea, like taking all the money or they just stole it from you, I mean, that's that's something with that you want to target first. And then it, there's like all scales all the way down to where it's like this at the bottom level there's, it's like this mutually agreed on behavior where it's like, okay, um, I'll scratch your back if you scratch mine. I'll give you two accounts in app A, you give me two accounts in app B and we're both happy. And and it's like this small thing that only like adds one Sybil to each of those apps. Um, yeah, that's that's like that's like the, the low end of the spectrum. And then in the middle, there's like, 
okay, I'm taking taking money from you or or I'm it's like, okay, maybe I'm giving maybe I'm just taking a little bit of money from you. Maybe instead of giving you, maybe I'm taking like a 10% cut. Where mm -hmm. do we the line? It's like, am I allowed to take a 5% tax from the credit you, card companies take a 3% cut? Yeah. What if, what if I, what if that's my business? And what if I, what if I'm that my business model is I help you get, I help people get on bright ID that would have never heard of it. Mm -hmm. and then I take like 3% of their UBI as, as a fee. Is that like, does that mean that I get kicked out and I can't get verified anymore? So it's, there's, there's all sorts of like, there, there's a gradient, like you said. Anyway, so my point is, I think that that is harder to label. It'll take longer to label. So therefore that hurdle of achieving that is even higher. And there's a bunch of applications that already find our hurdles problematically high. So the reason a whole bunch of applications might not want to use that is just because it grows, it grows too slowly. We can't, we can't label it efficient, effectively fast enough. So they'd rather, the same reason people use Meets now instead of Beats, because Beats is a pain in the butt for users and Meets is a lot easier. So they pick the, they pick the Meets verification. Yeah, and I think every, every energy team will basically have a manifesto, at least once there starts being more than one energy that says like, this is our goal for our energy team. And one energy team might say, hey, for our energy flavor, we we it's it's too difficult it's not our expertise we're not even going to try to look at cases of collusion and coercion it's like we're just looking at one person one vote one other another energy team might say like okay we're doing that and our uh so we're we're like copying maybe we're copying white energy because they do a good job of that but we're also layering on top of that our expertise in like knowing which areas of the world are are subject to coercion and like and and maybe another energy flavor says well we look for collusion because we know like we we have this like deep data modeling where we can tell when people are colluding and and if there's any of that going on we don't we don't verify people with our energy flavor and maybe gitcoin says okay yeah we want that one or whatever so so there will be options i think and yeah i mean the way the way we've talked about it recently as we've said for our first energy flavor for ore level bronze, and um, this is something like I'm, I'm coding up right now, um, later today, is we want it to be really uh, just if you, um, hey Humpty, good to see you. Um, so if if you like are are allowed to do any verification at all in the aura system, you can get people bronze so basically if they're above like whatever the smallest increment of of verification that you get if you get something if you get some sort of verification you'll get aura bronze that's that's just saying like somebody within the that had some amount of energy within the aura system verified you that's bronze then then uh, i'm still trying to like just these are rough guests at, guesses at the beginning for what silver and gold should be but gold is basically like all the people that we know so far um that that like our energy team can personally vouch for like whatever energy they or whatever sorry whatever aura score they end up with that's where we're setting the gold cut off and then silver's like somewhere in between there um that's how i'm going to set it that that it will obviously change over time as we learn more and as apps start using those different levels um because the most important thing is that we have meaningful levels that apps can use so I think bronze takes the place of meats um, roughly where it's like, okay, all you have to do is find an aura player somewhere. They don't even have to be a good aura player. They just have to be like, you just have to find someone, um, which should be even easier than finding a star because all the stars are going to be aura players. So bronze should be even easier to get than meats, but probably do a better job than meats. And then silver is like in between and then gold is. Uh, I'll just push back for... For people that don't know anybody in Bright ID at all, or is hard than Meets. Because Meets, you literally show up at a Zoom party from anywhere in the world and you walk away with Meets verification. You can't necessarily do that. Yeah, I guess I guess that's true because we yeah, because you've it takes time and and uh like stars don't have time to 
research every random person that they've never met before and try to make form some opinion on them. That's just too much. That's at the conference, you know, Victor's probably made loads of connections with people at this conference. He doesn't know them. Great. They all got meat verification, which is good. That, that's what we wanted. He could not label them all and label them on aura. I mean, he, yeah. he could give them, he could give them most of them good vibes. That'd be fine. But yeah. like that, that's, that's, that's not, that's not enough. He could give them good vibes because he met, met them at a reputable place in a reputable environment and they didn't seem like they were doing anything shady but yeah good vibes does not add up to a, a an aura verification so yes you're right okay so meets i think is still like is still useful to have um it does the problem is it doesn't scale because you can't just keep <laughs> maybe more. meets become maybe maybe meets become maybe meets evolves into vibes into what? Into vibes? Into vibes. Right. That like what you need, what you, you know, one second, Victor. Once you, once you, right, you need to have vibes because, right, Victor can, give, a star can give that, can give that to anyone, right? It's, it's like the same level as, it's a safe, it, it's like someone getting meets. It's just more distributed in how it can play. Because again, like you can get it as long as that aura player has, is, is a accepted aura player, they can give vibes. That's enough. So you still need to get vibes and, and that, and it's, it's a better version of me. It's a better version of me. Yeah, sorry, Victor. Guys, don't forget that meat is 100% human meat. So, it's usually more. Every time you go into this call, because it's 100% human meat. It's not false with the meat. Right, right, right. So, yeah. Every time so, me it's going to be using yeah, meets does have a value, um, but it's gonna have to be so. What? So this is the ideal situation that I'm hoping for, that we're able to continue meets for as long as it scales, which is not much longer. Like I don't even see it scaling to a million users. Um, so it's like it's hard to see it scaling too much longer. Um, but when it reaches that transition point where meets is no longer scalable it's now has become easier and most people, well, I mean, ideally it would be most people, but I don't realistically see that. You, even if there's a million Bright ID users and let's say a thousand Aura players or even 10,000 Aura players, there's still gonna be some people who are just like, I can't get this verification. Um, and it's gonna be, and it takes time. Not, not only is it, okay, so Meets is really fast. Um, you can get meets in like 15 minutes. Um, but Aura is always going to be slower than that because the person has to do some research on you. Um, they can't. I, they don't for vibes. They don't for vibes. Right, right. For vibes, you can just say like, okay, I got a good feeling about this person. I don't think they're a Sybil attack. That's vibes. But yeah, for, for Aura level bronze, even that you've got to have like some sort of evidence that you're going off of you've got to have looked into that person somehow said like okay show me all your well let's see our mutual connections okay we don't mind, they're gonna have zero connections at that point most of them yeah yeah so it's like yeah it's like okay you've got to you you've got to do some more work come back to me when when i at least you know know one other connection uh because if you're if you're an aura player you've likely got hundreds of connections and you're like, okay, like, I'm, I can only verify people in my sphere. That's kind of what Aura is. Um, but my sphere is pretty big. And like you, I think you should be touching my sphere somewhere, but you still have some work to do. Or maybe we can work together to figure out like who we know in common, et cetera. So I can do at least have some evidence because I can't go completely blind. So, but what do you think about vibes? Is that like, is is there somehow kind of like a transition from meets into a sort of vibes verification that maybe does scale better than meets? So, so imagine when some when a star is conducting a connection party. Imagine that the UI is easy for them to make both the just met connection and the pine on vibes at the same at the same time. So it's not it's not this you know jump in between and doing this complicated. It's just Great, it's one UI on their phone, just like, yep, just met positive vibes. Just met negative vibes. Just met, I'm not even, I'm not willing to give a vibe. Like, yep, I'm mad, I just met. So they still would get that meets verification for things that still use meets, but like, I'm not willing to give it the vibes. 
Uh, right. Obviously, this is something that only the host has access to. This is like one of those hidden features in the Bright ID app where it's like, you know, press press in this little area that no one knows to touch in. Now suddenly you've unlocked your aura, um, your added like aura abilities in the Bright ID mobile app. And now you can give vibes to people straight from the Bright ID mobile app. Um, or, or it may be the other way. It may be that like uh, all the functionality is in the in an or, a future Aura app. You can you can make connections from Aura. Yeah, that's right. The, the, there's a future version of Aura that does that has all the functionality of Bright ID in it. The Bright ID reference app, just with you know a slicker a slicker U a slicker UI and more more functionality. Like that's just it, it's, it's a module within because we've always dreamed of like. You know, it should be true that, like, hey, if you use Trust Wallet for a bunch of things, you should be able to, like, maybe use Bright ID within that. It was just like this module, that, like, so nobody has to have the Bright ID reference app because it just that, that's that's barely a that's barely a thing. Why why have a why have a gadget an app that only does one thing when you can have a super app that does a bunch of things? You know, WeChat does like. <laughs> People use it for 10 different things over China. Um, yeah, so maybe maybe this vibes verification is just like, hey, an aura player gave you good vibes. That's worth something. Um, and uh, it's like, how does that how does meets grow into that? I don't know um, because it, it that sounds a little scary when I say it like it any old aura player gave you vibes because it's like, or any any aura player that has some energy gave you vibes. That's I guess that's that's yeah yeah that's, that's a better or, way or, or, or some <laughs> some threshold some threshold level of energy. It doesn't it doesn't need to be one unit of energy. It can be a hundred units of energy. Or right. that's right that's right yeah. So that's that's a good point because you it couldn't just be okay. So yeah, you could say like a fairly reputable aura player, um, which is judged by how much energy they have, gave you good vibes. So therefore, you get this vibes. Um, you get the vibes verification, and then that's that's more scalable because then it's like we don't have the instead of having this centralized way where we pick where it's like the bright ID seed DAO um, picks who the stars are, um, and then like sets the meet schedule. Instead of that, it would be just like okay. Um, Anyone is free to organize their own meets. Um, instead of it running through a seed DAO, it runs through Aura. So it's like this um, smoother, more organic way of distributing the energy. And um, and then, so basically we're just, that. then it becomes scalable. So it's it becomes like a scalable meets where it's like, okay, it's still like, don't trust, you know, you're keeping out bot armies, but we're, you, you, this can't be trusted for like small scale civil attacks. Right, can't be trusted for small scale civil. Right, you've got a charismatic person, and they just hop around getting different, getting different vibes, just like you would do for getting meets today. Exactly, it's got all the protection. But also, I, I think that the stars would find it would find it valuable if they could give a qualitative answer to just met. Because right now, it's either they get either it's just met, or I'm really quite sure that you're a bad actor. So I'm gonna I'm gonna mark you as like as 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 bad, but there there isn't there isn't the difference of like yeah I feel good about this but you know this one I, I'm not willing to give it like I, I'm willing to say I just met them because it's it's true I did, but I'm not willing to give them any of my vibes because yep. it just rubbed me the wrong way. I'm not putting a negative. I'm not giving them a negative. I'm not saying I'm not giving them a negative, but I, I'm not willing to give them my positive. Yeah, it's going to end up the same way that Meets currently does. Like if you're the host and you just swipe because you're like, I don't know what to think about this person. They're not like super suspicious. I don't think I don't think that um, uh, like hosts of Meets, I don't think Bright ID stars ever do this. I think they always pick between suspicious and just met. But let's say that you you did just swipe on someone and you're just like, ah, eh, you you don't get vibes from me because because you weren't you weren't quite good. you're not suspicious but you're not good vibes you're just in the middle so I just skip you. Then what's going to happen is after the meeting they're going to be like, "Hey, why didn't I get verified? I went to the meeting and I didn't get like you hear this all the time. I went to the meeting and I didn't get verified." 
Um, so it'll be the same thing. It'd be like, hey, I I connected with a I connected with an with an aura player and and I didn't get verified. What happened? And it's like, well, they didn't give you good vibes. Right, but but also, but but in that case, they got they, they got a meets verification. They just didn't get a vibes verification because oh, okay. they so were this, too sketchy. Right. So this is a transition point where we're still doing the the, the parties. Yeah, but I but I like this. And as like a, parties. I, I don't think connection parties like this exist. I honestly, what I think it is, it's that like people that are going to be on front lines connecting to people, yeah. which, which are star type people. They yeah. do their own frontline activity. What the, yeah. the, the, uh, the calls are between the Aura players, right? It's it's 10 Aura players that are on the same team getting together and like talking about what's yeah. going on, what's yeah. going on, what they've doing, what they see. Oh, Victor, you've got this, this thing is growing out, this tumor is growing out of your region. Can you explain what's going on? And be like, oh yeah, here's these people I met. I was at this conference. And be like, all right, cool. Or he's like, or he starts being really shady, and then we're like, oh, <laughs> like that's sketchy. We should worry about that. Maybe we should question, you know, the energy we're sending over to Victor. Like, you, you got to have good answers for what's going on. And if you don't have good answers, it's your job to go find them. Because if he's like, oh, I don't actually know what's going on with that outshoot. Yeah, I agree. That's my responsibility. I'll go find out. Yeah, and so what I think what I think we're gaining over the current meets um, with the new vibe verification is we're saying, um, okay, meets was very rigid. Like we we have this schedule. It's convenient um, for for total newbies who just like stumble upon our app or whatever. Um, to get verified because they just go to this page. It says like, show up at one of these times, you're going to get verified. Um, and then the evolution of, but then, but it makes it so that it's not, it makes it so it's not decentralized because it's like, um, let's say that, I mean, we've set up seed, seed groups in a bunch of different DAOs and communities and stuff. And unfortunately those are not like, um, like the process they have to fill out this form they have to apply they have to um it, it like they one community um that got seed group status could not cannot just organically like help another community they have to go back to the center of everything and re and get that community to reapply it has to be reevaluated by this small group of like seed down members and that's what we're trying to replace and make it so that it's just more fluid. Like if, if I give your community um, a bunch of energy, you don't, you don't even like need my permission to get the process started to say, well, my community knows this other community and we're going to give them some of our energy. And so now this other community can also start verifying people. And yes, you're re now responsible for that. And, and then upstream, someone else is responsible for you. And so they say, well, I'm looking at the orograph. I can see there's new activity here. Do you want to tell me about that? And then you have the conversation, but it's all like, it's more organic. It, it doesn't require like a centralized process. It doesn't require permission. And then how you handle things on the front line, like you could set up your own, um, uh, like your own schedule when you, where you have regular meetings where you verify people, or you could it's just whatever fits your community. Um, if it's more ad hoc, like, um, you know, people just verifying other people in Discord because once they get to know them, once they have um, like proven that they're a community member or something like that, it's totally up to them how they do it. There's no prescribed way. Um, and that is scalable, um, unlike the current meets process, which is not scalable. So that's what that's that's what I like. That's what we're going for. I like the I like the new vibe verification idea. I think that's cool. Um, yeah, but then there's something else. There's the bronze level, which is the way I'm defining it right now um, within the code, as I'm saying, like you did some sort of you did some sort of somebody an aura player did some level of research on you like any kind of aura player did any kind of research on you it wasn't just good vibes and that uh, uh, aura player gave you at least one honesty 
Yeah, so in terms of using the Aura app, yes. Okay. And a player with energy gave you at least one honesty. That's going to get you a bronze level. Uh, one of the things I wondered is, is how time maybe should, should, play, should play into it. Into this, uh, actually, Humpty's asking again. Yeah, yeah. So let's let me share the screen, and I'm going to show Aura in its current iteration. Let me make sure there's there's nothing that can't go on YouTube here. <laughs> you show some, you showed something you didn't need to, and then you had to change something a couple weeks ago. Yeah, I I I, I had it open like on a Heroku like setting screen or something. So I'm like, okay, <laughs> I, I need to change all those secrets. It wasn't that hard. They're all changed though, people. So don't bother trying to go steal it now. It's too late. Yeah, too late. Okay, yeah, it'll so. be faster. Um, so if we go to Aura, and maybe I'll go to the dev version of Aura. I have less done there. And this is not real data. So I feel better about this. Okay, yeah. so this is this is the fake Aura. Like none of this stuff means anything. This is all just fake stuff. This is like the the test Aura. And then there's the real Aura, which is in a closed beta right now. But in Aura, um, basically what you do, it extends Bright ID. Um, the Bright ID app, it's useful mostly by people who are just trying to get verified, but it's also used by Bright ID stars who are helping people to get verified. Um, but the problem is that there's definitely a dis two distinct classes of Bright ID users. The vast majority who are just trying to use Bright ID to get verified. They just want the end result. They don't want to dig deep. They don't want to like figure out who's Sybil, who's not Sybil. Um, originally, when we thought that everybody was going to help to identify Sybils, we've realized that's not, that's not how it works. That's not how it's going to work. Um, so we created the Aura game, which is basically like the power toolbox for the people who are digging deeper, people like Bright ID stars, people who want to like help to identify symbols in Bright ID. Um, and so it's it's a research tool. Um, it's a personal research tool. So let's say that I've got, um, so let's say, so let's look at, um, let's look at Chair, um, who is actually helping us as a, a project manager in Aura. So I go to him and um, let's see. Yep, so I can see, um, this, so I can set my honesty, what what I think his honesty should be, all the way from like, I know he's a, this is a civil account, to some sort of suspicious, to like, um, you know, I know he's honest, and then there's various levels of honest, there's like different numbers. So I can do that. And um, I can also, um, let's see. Okay, and this version you're showing doesn't, doesn't have the, the mutual connections. Um, I really wanted to look at that one actually. Yeah. Is that a different? Um, I think that's a different. Yeah, that's a different. It was do you like, have that up, or I could probably find it. But do you happen to have that I, up? I, I, I don't. I don't. Okay. Have so let me. Um, let's see. I'm gonna click on the the link where that was. Um, he shared it with us. Uh, didn't he put it in? Um. I thought you should... while you look for that. So Humpty, you, know, you asked uh, about about meets and vibes. So I would say uh, meets is not a primitive of aura. Uh, aura aura doesn't really respect the meets verification very much. Uh, aura wants to wants to be be better than that. Uh, vibes is one of the primitives of aura. So vibes uh, vibes is like a half step in aura. Vibes indicates that. That the user that, that you're comfortable with the user, you you think that they're probably good, but you're not you're not like staking your credibility on it, and therefore their uh, their verification is is lower than it would be. Uh, ideally, what you're doing for for a user in Aura is giving them honesty. So uh, honesty is the, the the magic the magic thing in. Uh, in Aura, so you know you're my friend. I know you. I can look at your mutual connections. I'm going to give you honesty. Um, but if I did, but if I, if I if I meet somebody and I don't have a lot of mutual connections, I don't really know that. I, I can't I can't give them honesty because I don't know enough information. I'm not willing to do the work 
but I can still help them out a little bit by saying, okay, based on what I do now, I feel good about it. I, I think you're probably a good user, uh, a valid user, so I'll help you out. And then when Victor looks at that person, maybe he knows them a little bit better. He sees that I gave them good vibes, which should help him be a little bit more confident in his own answer. So if he was like waffling between vibes and honest, maybe he goes ahead and tips over to honest because they've got good vibes from me. And if they had good vibes from me and Adam and Humpty and Sergey, even more, Victor would be more inclined to mark him honest. And all he needed was that one honest from somebody, which is easier to give when other people have given good vibes. Right. So now I have the version that, oh, nice. um, that has the mutual connections. So I'm looking at chair. We have a lot of mutual connections, like a lot. Oh, look, Humpty's in here. <laughs> um, we have a lot of mutual connections. So if I'm researching chair, um, uh, because I want to give him honesty and which helps him get the aura verification because I have energy. Um, so if I, it's basically energy times honesty. It's pretty simple. It's like energy times honesty is my contribution to his verification. So um, I have energy. Uh, your energy. My energy. So he doesn't have to have energy to get verified. In and you don't have to give him any energy. I don't have to give him any energy. I give energy to other aura players. I have the energy as an aura player. I give him honesty. My energy times the honesty that I give him is my contribution to his aura verification. So I'm, uh, I've given him, I've chosen to give him two honesty, which is, uh, I'm sure Philip would say that's very conservative. But I look at, um, I look at, and, and the research I'm doing um, is I look at these mutual connections. This is very rich information here. I can see all the people that we've both connected to and what they think about him. So I can see who has considered him a recovery connection, who has considered him a just met connection. I see all these people I know setting him as a recovery connection. All these people that I know saying that they also know him. Um, when I look at that, that these are all very strong signals that like, you know, make me want to like bump up his honesty. So, so two things to add to that, that that aren't shown yet, but they will be is after where it says just met, like what the opinion is, that little dash, if they had given an, an, an aura honesty score, it would show up there. And under the person's name where it says not yet, that would show aura's um, verification rating for, for each person. So gold, silver, right. bronze. Uh, so I can so you I can see, it, so right. In the future, you know, if I'm gold, it's going to say Philip Silva, gold, who chair rated as a four, because that's that's the little four next to my name. Um, what? No, no, sorry, sorry. Uh, this is from your account. Uh, this four. is right. Adam, I mean, see, no Adam sees that Philip is gold. Adam rated me a four. And yeah. here's what I said about I said chairs and already known. I rated him a two. Yep. That will help form that Adam's helps opinion. Me. That helps me. I'm like, well, if Philip gave him two honesty and I'm looking at all this stuff, like the fact that he uh, like he has this already known connection with Humpty, um, all these people have, that I know um, have set him as recovery or already known. Um, this this contributes to me saying like, OK, you know what, I'm going to bump up his honesty from two to three because I have the, I've done that research. So what we want to do in Aura is we want to provide that and also um, let's see if I can show the Aura graph. Um, is that do you link to that from the home page or from uh, anybody's profile? Anybody's profile. OK, so I can see Carl in the energy graph. OK, so um, anyways, uh, then there's a graph that kind of shows like how the energy is flow flowing around. So if you want a more graph view of that stuff we were looking at, you can look at it here. Um, this will, I don't know if this is going to finish loading. Um, but anyways, um, so this graph view plus the, um, plus that like mutual connection view, those are the research tools. And we want to put whatever research tools or players are going to use to um, uh, like 
um, determine what honesty they should be giving people. We want to put those all in one place so, so that Aura becomes a toolbox for getting people verified. And also, um, you know, I can look at this and I can be like, hmm, like what's going on over here? This is interesting. And, and I can kind of research different regions and maybe withhold energy from Aura players that are doing things that I think are sketchy so that they can't verify people because I, so I can immediately cut off other people's ability to get people verified. Like if there was a civil attack happening over here and uh, and they were getting their energy from me and I'm like, okay, this is not, I don't like what's going on here until further notice, like all these people are getting unverified. I can just boom, cut that off, uh, cut off that energy. It immediately takes place. Um, or more more likely I'll probably, you know, if it's if it's something really scary, I might do that. If it's something that starts to be a little concerning, more likely I'll just talk to the person and say like, hey, let's talk about what's going on over here and, and get to the bottom of it, especially if it's someone that I really trust and it's probably not a civil attack. Um, but if, but yeah, anyways, so uh, Aura is about honesty, energy, honesty. Um, is getting so, so very, something yeah. that struck me in the, the, the Gitcoin call before, they were, they were talking about, oh, imagine, the, imagine that the system is such a black box in the future that we can't figure out why it's giving the answer that it's giving. That's not a problem in Aura. When right. you go, what, why is this person got a silver rating? You, we, we, you could look right on the graph and see, well, because these, these, other, yeah. these other nodes gave it, and why do they have the authority to do that? And like, you could always track it back to understand, right? Uh, so, hey, energy started at Philip and Adam. So, so this energy flavor is our, ultimately our, our fault. There will be other energy flavor flavors that, that 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 start, but like you can always look to where the where the buck stops. Uh, you can always go go back. Well, why did you say? Okay, I said that I said that he's good, and he said that she's good, and she said that he's good. That's that's how it was decided. Um, yep. Like like you can say like why did this person um, get an aura verification? Oh, okay, they have one incoming rating. That's from Philip. Um, Philip obviously has all this energy. So anybody that he gives a rating to is going to um, get a high aura score. Um, so you can see from this graph view like why that's happening. Um, and and if if you disagree, if you're like, man, this is I know this is a Sybil, um, then we then Philip and I can have a chat. And in the future, we want to improve this tool so that you can you can put labels on it so that I can be like, boom flag this, um, you know, and, and then Philip will see the flag. And he'll be like, oh, you're flagging someone that, that's connected to me. Okay, let's have a chat. Oh, oh, another thing I thought of the other day is there should be a way that you can label that like, yo, this user, this user, this user, they're like, those are sock puppets of this one. Yep, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right, yeah. so just, just so you can like, you can, you can tie it together. And, that, that hey, in my opinion, it's not it's not necessarily you know factual, but in my opinion, I think that these accounts are the same, and eventually have system have have like the the energy teams be able to come to a conclusion, and be like, yep, we think we think that these twelve that these twelve accounts are really all all all, all one person because that's that's useful information to understand. Yeah, I agree with that. Yeah, that'd be it. That'd be a, a really cool label thing. Um, you should make an issue in the aura uh, or or put that somewhere like in, in either in the aura discord or the aura github um cuz that's a really good idea um so it looks like uh so you can also see from here like how the energy is flowing not just how the verifications are happening you can see how the energy is flowing um this is really useful so you can say like oh look um like people are giving humpty energy that means that they want him to play the aura game um, because if you're not an Aura player, you shouldn't get energy. So someone is saying like, hey, come to Aura, come play the Aura game, um, start rating some people in your neighborhood and getting them Aura verified. Um, so it's kind of like an invitation when you give mm -hmm. someone, you can, you also don't need an invitation. You can just start using Aura and then, um, basically, um, ask for energy later. You can, you can say, hey, look, I've, I've given all these people an honesty rating. Look at what I've done. Um, if you agree with what I've done, like, like, let's okay. say over here. Yeah. 
Um, so if someone has already given energy. I can look at what Superfizz is doing over here and I can be like, okay, yeah, I'm going to give him some energy too. Right. 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 Superfizz could have done that without having energy. Right. And then said, hey, I, I, I labeled a bunch, send me an Adam, another thing that, that should exist in Aura is, is a way to uh, request energy yeah. from, yeah. from people that have given you honesty. Yeah, that's another good idea. Yeah, you, you should um, put that idea either yeah. in the Discord. Right. Put up a flag like, hey, I'm, I'm looking, looking for energy. I, I don't right, have right. enough. It's like, like, look at this guy over here. Um, uh, he's, he's, you know, we've seen him on calls and stuff. And he's like, hey, I... I rated somebody. I rated two people, but I don't have any. No one's giving me any energy. Like what? You know, I wanted to play the Aura game. I, 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 I'm a beta tester. I came in. I opened it up. I logged in. I rated some people. No one even gave me any energy. This is sad. So it's like we we need we need to find people like that. And yeah, having flags and saying like, okay, yeah, this is cool. Someone's trying out Aura. Let's give them a little energy. See how they do with it. Um, yeah. So. Anyways, I'm I'm really excited about Aura. I think it's um, the future of Bright ID. It scales. It's extremely fast. It's it makes sense. Like when we first launched Bright ID, we we launched it with um, this uh, Sybil group rank, which was a cool algorithm that we kind of adapted from the literature on on Sybil detection that. Uh, that says like it treats all bright ID players as kind of like civil hunters. And it's like, okay, if you trust this person and I trust you, then it's got this transitive nature where it's like, okay, then, then that means that um, because you trust, I trusted you, you trusted that person. Now they get, um, they get some of this like verification energy that's flowing around the bright ID graph. Um, but we realized that it's not really the the way that bright id functioned as an app doesn't really make sense um in the it, it, with the way the flows are happening because when i say that i know someone and you say that that you know someone that doesn't mean that i know that person a little bit <laughs> i that doesn't it doesn't make sense it's it's like so so it was it was sort but of it like, is true in aura if yeah. i trust you a lot and you trust someone else a lot i actually do i do trust them some Yes, it's transitive. It's transitive because you're saying like, I am trusting you to play the game or a game correctly. Part of you playing it correctly means that the people that you give energy to are also people who are going to play the game correctly. So it's like the energy, it's not instead of instead of what's being transferred uh, around the graph um, being how well do you know someone? It's what's being transferred around the aura graph is how good of an aura player are you? And then there's the last hop, which is it goes from like the aura player, which is like 1% or 0.1% of all people are aura players to the rest of the world. Um, you just need to find an, an aura player and um, let them do some research on you. And then you get verified. Um, so that last hop does not involve a flow of energy. It just involves this honesty rating that we looked at. Um, so that is, that is how the world gets verified. Um, it's very fast. The other one was not going to scale, um, like flowing stuff between 10 billion people, um, using the Sybil rank algorithm was not, uh, was not going to happen. Uh, um, like the nodes were going to be overworked doing that. But if you're taking like 1% or 0.1% and flowing around that, um, it's very fast. Like um, it can it can scale the like the the current kind of crappy hardware that we use for nodes and our sort of optimized algorithms could scale the world scale. So we like this is this is the future. Um, it could totally work. So there's there's the social thing. There's this the big question is the social layer. Like, can we get from a whole bunch of people can't the state where a whole bunch of people can't get verified because they just don't know anyone to like hey if i if i work a little bit i can find a connection into the aura graph or i can find an aura player or i can become an aura player i can bridge that gap like that's what that's that's where um that's where the work still needs to happen but 
I, I hope we can do it. Like I hope this experiment works. And I'll say this is the this is the most we've ever publicly shown about Aura, how yeah. exactly it works, what it looks like. So those of you who happen to be on, you, you just got you just got the the uh, the deepest deepest dive that has ever publicly happened. Yeah, yeah, and and this is this is right before our public um, our public launch of Aura, um, public where it becomes public beta is coming soon. Um, it's um, it's it's almost ready. I mean, it's still gonna have obviously it's still beta, so it's gonna have bugs and stuff, and people are gonna have to squash the bug. Um, but it's going to, into public beta. Um, Unitap is gonna be launching something called Magic Tickets, which is actually going to use aura verification. Um, so, you know, we're dog fooding it. We're putting it, uh, like we're gonna, we're gonna like put it through its paces with like real money on the line. So um, yeah, that's really exciting. And I really want all of that to, I mean, the 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 public beta is gonna la definitely launch this year. I really want aura uh, to be integrated with Unitap this year. Like that would be an awesome goal. If it ha if it happens early next year, fine. Um, uh, there's some difficulties with. Uh, I mean, there's 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 like stuff going on um, in the corner of the world where a lot of our developers work that are making things difficult right now. But um, but uh, you know, fingers crossed that that stuff works out and and we get that get that integration launched really soon. And see Aura being used for like actually actual valuable things. And eventually, I mean, I want the value to go up. Like right, <laughs> right now, a bright a bright ID account on the black market is worth like ten bucks. I want it to be worth a thousand bucks or ten thousand bucks. I want it to be. I want it to be so obviously valuable that no one ever sells their bright ID account because, um, like, oh, and by the way, the other or, thing. Or better yet, they sell it, take the money, and then steal it back to social recovery. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> Yeah, so that so that's the other thing I was going to say. Those accounts are selling with meets verification. Like the the joke is on them when in like a couple months things start switching over to um, aura verification because it's like those those accounts are not aura verified. Sorry, and they're like, not ever going to be aura verified. They're not ever going to be aura verified. So it's like you paid for something that is definitely going to be worthless in the future. Um, so. Very optimistic about about all of this. Um, uh, and now, see, one of the guys left. Yeah, yeah I was like, I was He's happy. Like, I stole all. I stole all like, those. Oh, He's like, oh, oh no. He's like, okay. I, now I have enough information to go back and tell the government. Um, anyways. Oh no! I know. I was thinking there was a guy that had bought lots of accounts and was like, oh man. It's like, oh, I spent a hundred thousand dollars on bright idea accounts. Oops. Yeah. Yeah. Anyways, I hope I hope no one has spent that much. I mean, we know that there are people buying. I hope no one has bought that many bright idea accounts. That would be that would be. Or or if they did, I hope we switch to aura like in a month and it they just like because I love it when attackers um waste their money. I mean, I think that's great. So Cool. Any anything else anybody wanted to say before we close up? Yeah, I just want to say thank you uh, for the, the rundown there. Um, also, thank you, Adam and Philip, for showing up earlier. Would have loved to kind of hear some of these ideas. I pro probably you're still working some of these ideas out uh, in the conversation we had earlier. Um, you know, with Bitcoin on simple resistance, I think it's incredible to see you continue to kind of evolve the product and kind of still continue innovating on some of these concepts. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, I didn't want to um, upstage um, what, what Gitcoin was doing with their hackathon because they've, they've got a lot of um, things they're working on that are just in a separate realm of data science that is like outside of Bright ID right now. Um, and so it's important that people work on that problem as well. Um, like, like opening up all the other signals that happen within Gitcoin and and working on simple solutions based on those is really important. And that's a big piece of what they're doing. But sometime I hope, you know, maybe we can get on your show and do it, do like a full aura demo or something yeah. like that. That'd be cool. Well, I guess 
I guess Twitter spaces doesn't really work for that, but no, let, let's bring you on to the, to the podcast. Uh, I'm, yeah. I'm not doing it on Twitter spaces anymore because of exactly what happened today. Um, yeah. It's very unpredictable. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I, we really should get bright idea on there. Or, I mean, I don't know if you want to come under the banner of aura and not bright ID, but definitely, I think this would be a fun conversation, especially right now. I think as you know, identity is still getting a lot of attention and uh, bright ID and the work you're doing with aura should definitely be spotlighted. Yeah. I would, I would want the, I would want the beta to, to launch and open up, but the, the, it's so, it's so close. It's yep. just okay. like a, little some little things we need to tie together to make it work because like right now like <laughs> so so aura the, the the mvp of aura is that it it gives an, it, it labels people with a verification that we feel good about and and that it doesn't actually label anybody yet so it's <laughs> we need to like turn on turn on the labeling um such that it so it gives gives people an answer an answer it doesn't give an answer today but very yeah special. Yeah, the bronze, silver, and gold that we've been we've been talking about. Um, that's very close to existing. Once that exists, uh, I think that's the last thing that we want to do before we launch um, the public beta. And then, yeah, once we launch the public beta, I think we should get on your podcast and demo it. Yeah, yeah, that'd be great. I'm also trying this new thing uh, within the Bankless DAO uh, to do not AMAs, but um, kind of. Uh, bridging projects with that community there to do the demos because on the podcast um, there's no visual kind of uh, piece to it uh, though we are kind of uh, got a new service where we work with projects that we feature to create some sort of like workable demo that's uh, shared as some sort of addendum or like added uh, bonus to you know to the event or to the to the to the conversation that people can go in and, and check out we were we we're planning on doing that with coordinate it would be like our our alpha uh to test that out where they're going to come on the show but we're also going to do a cobalt demo and then we're going to release them uh at the same time through the wider distribution network uh or podcast network excuse me but also on youtube so a little fun experiment we're trying cool yeah cool i gotta jump off but um Great. thank you yeah. both yeah Thanks, let's Let's be in touch. Um, well, thank you everybody for tuning in. And uh, yeah, <laughs> we uh, you'll see more on Aura in the future. That was a nice deep dive. Um, look out for the public beta. All right, everybody have a great week. It's nice chatting with you. See ya. <laughs>